Hey there, magic one. Welcome to your tarot reading for the week. I really hope that you are staying blessed. I've just called in to say a big hi and to let you know what I've been working on. I'm actually currently chipping away at the March uh, monthly tarot readings. Yes, chipping away because it does take a lot of time. So I'll be releasing them across the next um, two or three weeks, hopefully two. So keep an eye out for your sign. There's also extended versions of those available this uh, this time around. So if the if the message really resonates for you and perhaps you don't want to get a personal reading um, you can for a very small donation uh, jump into a more deep and clarified version of that reading so I'll all the details will be in the reading when you see your sign pop up you can you can find that out if you do want a personal reading or healing I am available for those and you'll find the link to my website down below where you can arrange that uh, the doors are always open to the initiation that is my immersive learn tarot journey should you want to really learn to to connect more deeply with your own intuition and guide yourself i'd love to take you on that journey with me but for now i am wishing you a week of love and magic thanks for, for joining me for your reading let's head across now Welcome to your tarot reading for March 14th to the 20th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block here, Scorpio. I have three cards for your recent past, three for your focus energy, and three for your near future outcome. I have a selection of oracles, a lead tarot energy, and I have turned over the bottom of the deck for you. This week I am working with the Sacred Creator Oracle, Moonology Oracle, the Moonchild and Star Child tarot decks from Danielle Knoll, that's my personal favorite tarot designer, and the Radiant Rider Weight, my other favorite. <laughs> okay, so um, this week we have the full moon in Virgo on the 18th, and this is a real time to make a practical plan. Uh, practical decisions, practical plans, um, look at all the detail and get really clear on that in order to move forward. Um, being a full moon, this is a time of climax where things kind of come to um, a point, come to a head. Uh, and it's also a great time for releasing what no longer serves you as we move into the waning period that, that follows on from that. So that is what I'm seeing in this reading. I'm seeing a really positive shift for you. So we'll start with the oracles, Scorpio. I've got from the sacred creators. Overthinking can spoil the magic and shift the way to new potential. So what it is saying here is the way to shift, uh, well, the way to shift to new potential is to maybe not overthink things as much. Now, that doesn't mean to say don't apply any logic it is important to do that but you must also feel into things you must also feel into your intuition um, into your heart and we really want to assess both of those energies before we make a move because otherwise we can make decisions just based on what we think we should do what makes more sense but we can end up unhappy down the path okay we do have meditate and contemplate here. Now, this is different from overthinking or trying to intellectualize. When we meditate, we actually disconnect from the thoughts of the mind and we are going beyond that to feel into our true essence, the heart energy, the soul energy, and we can also allow divine guidance to come through in those moments. So it's time for you to really take some quiet time to yourself, do your meditation or a walk in nature, exercise, uh, or whatever puts you in that flow state where you're just fully present and that's sometimes, you know, playing music or cooking or doing your art, whatever it may be for you. It feels like that is the way to bring the, the answer through. Now your lead energies here are Seven of Swords and the Devil, Capricorn energy. So I feel like this is where you are now and you can see in the cards like you've got some really beautiful cards here but at the moment you're in the right up there in the mind like the fears are real they're coming forward you know um, the self-limiting beliefs are here um, and you're just really feeling like you're going around in a loop I think 
I feel that you're trying to make a really big decision. The King of Swords is at the center of the deck and center of the reading, sorry. And for many of you, this is about leaving a workplace. Okay, I've got all the pentacles up here. For some of you, it could be about um, removing yourself from an investment as well. Ten of Pentacles can be about home and family. I'm not really feeling relationships so much, but it could be that for you. Um, or, you know, leaving behind, you know, the family home or something like that. So you're trying to make that decision, right? The stay or go situate decision. But it feels like you are quite bound to to where to this this uh, thing that you're trying to let go of, and that could be because you contracted in to a mortgage or a rental agreement, or you've made you know a commitment to somebody. Um, it could be because um, you're feeling a codependency as well. You know, and you and you feel like you can't move on, and that's why you're feeling really overwhelmed in the thought process here. The devil is kind of like we feel stuck. Okay, hanged man is here as well. We feel stuck, and sometimes we decide just to stay in a situation because it's easier to to not make the change. But you can see the bat wings on the devil here, and that is just a real sign that uh, over time this will become unsustainable and will will drain you basically of your life force energy your joy and your happiness because I can already see that this is out of balance for you and the seven of swords can be self-sabotage okay being the martyr um, of our own situation sacrificing happiness and fulfillment for ease or for stability security because we don't want to split up assets because we don't want to go backwards financially but sometimes a step backwards is followed up by three steps forward with this energy here just for some of you you could be dealing with somebody unreasonable or that has an agenda as well so just be mindful of that the devil um, and the seven of swords can be somebody who is um, gaslighting or manipulating of course there are all different levels and and degrees of that so let's jump into the Tarot Scorpio. I've got the Eight, Ten, and Six of Pentacles. So it feels like this is all about stability, security, uh, money investment, like your physical home, or, or commitment energy. I mean, the Eight of Pentacles is known as the Worker card. So regardless, I feel like you have worked really hard for this or in this situation, okay? But it feels like no matter how much work you've put in, it's always feeling out of balance for you, Six of Pentacles, and that has led you to this decision of, well, you know, I, I feel like I'm on the treadmill, I'm just not getting my my full needs, or I'm definitely not getting back, you know, an equivalent or balanced amount for what I'm putting in here. You know, in the Six of Pentacles, we see the, the beggars and the emperor, so it's like two extremes, and this emperor here is just giving little breadcrumbs to the beggars, so it's almost like maybe the person that you're dealing with or the organization is giving you just enough to keep you there but not enough to to fully satisfy you but you know just enough so that you won't leave but i feel like you're awakening to that scorpio and you are now wanting things to shift into balance now the ten of pentacles because it is a ten can be a completion it can be an ending okay and i feel like that is the way we shift the way to new potential Alternatively, this could have been a situation that began being really successful for you, but has diminished or required you to put in more and more work, more and more time, and you're really feeling, you know, the burnout or the pinch of that, and, um, you know, it's just no longer sustainable, it's no longer in balance. So this week we've got Hanged Man, King of Swords, Ace of Cups. King of Swords is Aquarian energy, and... In this reading, it is about taking a step back and seeing the big picture here and potentially getting ready to, to communicate what you're doing here, what your decision is. Um, Hanged Man says at the moment you are feeling stuck and I think because you, you feel tied to this, you feel obligated or you are contracted in. The thing with the Hanged Man though is that like the Hanged Man and King of Swords are both saying that you're needing to take a different viewpoint here and a different perspective. And that perspective may be, yeah, I'm going to have to go through 
a bit of a, a messy extraction from the situation. But what I'm going to gain is a happy new beginning, you know, a victory down the track. And, and that payoff is worth that cost, okay? That's what I feel that you, you need to, to look at. Um, the Hanged Man is number 12 in the Major Arcana and the Death card, which is your card, Scorpio, is number 13. So when I see the Hanged Man, it's like you're needing to die the death of the Hanged Man to liberate from the situation. And the reason why you're feeling stuck is because you're not yet in the acceptance point of the ending that, that you're needing to bring through. And you're waiting for the clarity or the insight on how to move forward. And that clarity or insight may be stepping back and seeing the big picture here, not focusing right down into those details um, and realizing that, you know, yes, it is going to be maybe, a, you know, a difficult thing to go through, but you are going to gain so much more. So that's what I'm feeling. And, and it's going to transform your life in some way is what I'm thinking. You may also be dealing with an Aquarius. I've got Aquarius here. I've got Capricorn. Oh, I've got the star as well. Sorry, that's the major arcana of Aquarius. So you've got double hit of that. Ace of Cups is here on the other side. And we've got the Ace of Swords as well. And the Aces are new beginnings. They are fresh new starts. They are the seeds of the new. So you have the Ace of Cups, which is fulfillment, happiness, a cup that's, you know, running over. Um, it's true happiness, okay? So when an Ace of Cups appears in a reading like this, it's not necessarily new love. It is um, a, a happy new start, a happy new beginning. And it's also a card of transformation. So I feel like no longer do you need to sacrifice your happiness, but you will regain that and slowly be able to fill your cup again and bring yourself back into balance. The star with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords is in your outcome. Now the Six of Swords is about moving on and moving forward and it's a necessary rite of passage. So it's not like, you know, you didn't want this to come down to the situation, but it feels like there's only one option. There's only one direction to get to the victory. And that is with a heavy heart, right? There's an amount of sorrow in this card to set sail. But what you are leaving behind is these you know, ungrounded emotions, being on the emotional roller coaster, being burnt out, being in an unbalanced situation, you know, being maybe around somebody who's unreasonable. That's what I see here into like peaceful, smoother sailing. We've got a different a number six here, but this one shows somebody who is actually choosing to move on and move forward. And that's how they bring themselves back into balance. The star here, I see somebody who is tipping out the two of cups, this like the two of cups is like a, you know, a commitment that you'd made, you're sending it back to the earth. And yeah, it feels vulnerable, but you're kind of guided to do this. I feel, you know, it's like you're getting divine guidance along the way. And the star is about now opening yourself up to achieve your greater hopes, dreams and wishes. It does talk about healing and rebalancing. So there may be some work that you're needing to do. Um, or just take some time out or reground yourself after this as well, Scorpio. But ultimately, we're landing on the Ace of Swords. And this is a victory, right? A victory with the King's Crown. It's like crowning yourself in King Energy because you've stepped up and shifted the way to new potential by taking action, okay? Um, this is also can stand for a severing of ties, a communication, getting the clarity or the inspiration that you need to make a sound decision here. Six of Cups. Yeah, another, your third six, and it's nothing to do with the number of the devil, even though we have the devil here. Um, sixes in tarot are actually, well, six is the number of the lovers, right? It's about balance, the two threes coming together. It's about balance, harmony. Um, the Six of Cups is it's about receiving. And what we receive in the Six of Cups is basically emotional growth and harmony in that way and positive connections in the future as well. And a feeling of releasing the stress and returning to like an innocence or you know, feeling like the heaviness has been lifted. So I love that energy for you. 
Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like there is going to be an amount of fear to move through. Um, so just be mindful of that. That kind of um, fear of leaving the comfort zone is probably going to be your biggest battle here. But that will keep you, you know, playing smaller than you are should you stay in that situation. Seven of Wands. Yeah, sometimes we just need to defend ourselves and make a good decision to bring ourselves back into alignment. Knight of Swords. Gemini energy here. And the Knight of Swords, you can see the Ace sitting underneath this person here. And it feels like you were just one insight, one moment of clarity away from being able to kind of leap over the edge here and move really powerfully forward because the Knight of Swords is fast forward movement. Okay, well, I'm going to leave it there, Scorpio, and I hope you enjoyed this channel tarot message. Keeping in mind it is a general reading for the collective, which means it may or may not resonate for you. Uh, drop me a comment if you're called to share. I, I read them all and I do my best to reply to all the comments unless they're really unconstructive. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. That way you'll know when I post new videos and it helps support my channel. So it's a great energy exchange between us. That's the, that's our six of pentacles. As is when you like, share and comment on the video. You can find me Scorpio on Facebook and you can find me on Instagram. Uh, please use the links down below. There is a fake account on Instagram, um, which if you look carefully has incorrect spelling, but they, they have more followers than me on Instagram, so it can look like the official account. Um, you'll know really quickly because when you follow them, they will ask you if you want a reading, and I would never, ever do that. So be mindful of that. Just use the link down below to my official account. I am wishing you much love and magic for your week ahead, Scorpio. Bye for now.